Please welcome Lisette Tooft. We are all astronauts on planet Earth and I want to talk about our own spacesuit, our intimate spacesuit, our bodies. Our bodies are amazing spacesuits. They're very intelligent. They build themselves out of Earth because everything we eat comes out of the Earth. They can repair themselves to an astonishing extent. They store experiences and they are a great source of information about our inner state, our soul. If we are present in them, the question is, are we? Let me speak for myself. For the most part of my life, I was not present in my body. I was living in my head, trying to solve all my problems by thinking. Now, I need to tell you, to explain why this was, I need to tell you my little sad story, but it does have a happy end. <laughs> I arrived here on this planet at exactly the wrong moment. It was rotten timing. My mom had a little child, one and a half years old, and a baby, half years old, and she was pregnant again at the moment that my father was fired from his job <coughs> for the first time in what would, what would turn out to be a series. She was so disappointed, she was so scared. They were living in Indonesia, they had to repatriate. They had no house, no job, no future, no money, and she was pregnant with me, so she did not like it. And when I was born, she fed me, but that was about all. So looking for warmth, I turned to my, uh, threw myself on my father and the poor guy, a sweet guy, but traumatized, rejected by his mother, rejected by my mother, he abused me. And there I was, a little child, with emotions which were far too great for me to handle. Too much fear, too much rage, rage, too much grief. So I pushed it all down, I suppressed all my emotions, and I started to live in my head. I guess I felt like this. This is a drawing that I made when I was a child. You know how children draw, symbolically draw their own inner states. And you see it's a kind of ripped off head, a head on sticks. Very scared and very lonely. And this is how I saw the adults around me. Also not connected, ungrounded, flashy, full of themselves, dangerous, menacing. Now, if you think I'm an exception, please think again. You know, somebody once said, this is planet trauma. If you don't want to be traumatized, you've come to the wrong planet. Most of us have had moments when there were emotions which we could not handle and which we have suppressed. And um, even if um, our parents were perfect, then our schooling system will have sent us into our heads because it tells us to stop feeling and start thinking. So most of us are living in our heads and trying hard not to feel feelings that we feel, that we could have felt. The Trouble and also the secret about emotions is that when you feel them, when you accept them and you feel them and maybe express them, they pass. They always pass. They go away. But when you don't, when you are afraid of them and you reject them or you suppress them, they stick around. They get stuck somewhere as tension in the body. And that is why so many of us are walking around with Tense shoulders, stiff neck, backaches, clenched jaws, gnashing teeth, tension, headaches. Uh, maybe we eat too much, or we drink too much, or we smoke too much, or we work too hard. Or, in any case, we have this 
little nagging voice in our heads that something is wrong, that we need to get something, we need to do something to achieve something. Actually, I think, you know, all of us are a little bit like the feli. Do you remember? Do you remember the feli? The lander that was sent to the comet with the unspeakable name, and it bounced. You remember the story in the newspapers? It bounced twice and then it landed in the shade, where it did not function as well as it could have. And I think that's our plight. What to do? For me, uh, I tried lots of therapies, methods, workshops, courses, trainings, and the very best thing, the thing that finally got me home, got me landed, was um, emotional bodywork called rebalancing. Rebalancing is a kind of a mix of all sorts of bodywork, like Reiki and Alexander Technique and Rolfing and uh, Craniosacral, and they put the essence of those things together and called it rebalancing. On that table, on that massage table by the at rebalancers, the very least that can happen is that you start to feel that you are a body again, that you are grounded. But in my case, and in many case of many people that I know, what happened was that I started to release old pain, old rage, old fear. I was shivering, I was crying, I was shouting, I was um, shrieking, kicking. It all came out. And then there was peace. There was peace in my body and safety, wellness. My husband says, my husband is so happy. <laughs> he says, your hidden aggression has gone. And now I'm training to be a rebalancer myself because I want to give to others what I have received and also because I think that the world needs more rebalanced people. Let me explain it in terms of the chakra system. Um, you probably heard about chakras. Energy centers in the body. Now I think most of us can reach down to our hearts, people like you. But below that, perhaps that's a bit more difficult. The lowest chakra, the root chakra, the red one there, is associated with uh, existence, survival, food and drink and shelter. And if you are not connected there, if you are not present there, you will be worried. You might try to find security in systems and protocols. Or you might start to think in a conservative or fundamentalistic way. Everything needs to be stay the same, otherwise I am not safe. Or you will start to believe that money is a source of security and safety. So I think our Western obsession with these things, with money, is um, a direct result of estrangement from that center. Because when you are present there, which is what I now know, when you are present there, then you know, because you feel, because you experience, that we are all part of nature. We are part of Mother Earth. We belong here. And whether we are young or old, rich or poor, well or ill, and I think probably even alive or dead, we belong here, we are all right, we are okay. We're part of it. The second center is connected to sexuality and uh, creativity. And you can easily see that when you don't have access there, then you might become obsessed with sex. But when you are present and it's flowing, then you know because you feel that you are a source of creativity and of renewal, that everything in me is always new. <laughs> and it, that remains so until I'm dead. And the third 
Center is uh, associated with uh, social relationships at large. And when it's stuck, then you might lack self-confidence and you m might uh, start to um, get into power trips. You think you need power. How huh? does the obsession with power? But when you are connected, when you feel present there, you know that I am part of humanity, just as you are part of humanity. We are all one family, we are all, all one. And that is goodness. So I've come to feel that the truth of being one with the earth and the beauty of constant creativity and renewal and the goodness of humanity is all in the body. You can't think them up. You can't think them into existence. You can feel them. Let me tell you a little anecdote. At one of my uh, many workshops I did, this one was called a Respectful Confrontation, and we did an exercise in pairs. We had to stand opposite each other and um, close our eyes and feel the heart center and feel the belly center. And then imagine that we were connected belly to belly, heart to heart center to each other. And then we opened our eyes and looked at each other. And uh, at the sign, I opened my eyes and I was in shock. All I could think was, those are the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Now, this was a very nice woman, an actress, but I had thought nothing special of her beforehand. And when she shared with me what she felt, she said she had thoughts about me like, Oh, I get this gray-haired granny to do the exercise with. But when she opened her eyes and looked into mine, all she could think was, those are the eyes of a child, full of wonder and amazement. Well, that was me some seeing someone for the first time in my life, really. Since then, I can't help imagining what would happen if we would, for instance, uh, treat the immigrant question this way connecting from our center and seeing them as they really are. What would happen if terrorists like the Islamic State would treat their victims, just do a little exercise with them before they beheaded them? Do you think anyone would be beheaded? No. They would, on the contrary, realize that they only beheaded themselves and threw away their bodies, their body feelings. So, and what would happen if politicians would do the exercise before they sat at their conference tables? Wouldn't this become a better world? And the beauty of it is that we can all join, we can all participate, we can all work towards a better world just by feeling, by being ourselves. So maybe you will join me in this tiny little exercise and put a hand on your belly and put a hand on your lower back and feel. And this is all what, what's needed to feel and to be landed, really landed in your wonderful spacesuit. Thank you. <laughs>